So today, LRZ and the other IPP athletes are running their combine for the NFL and seeing how their stats measure up. It's going to be interesting to see all the results. The NFL combine just happened about a few weeks ago here in America, and now all of the IPP athletes are running their combine. So it's going to be interesting to see what times and numbers that they put up, and we're going to dissect that in this video. If you enjoy this type of reaction video crew, let me know by dropping a subscribe. It helps us out a lot, and we see that 95% of you that watch our channel have yet to subscribe. We're continuing continuing to make rugby content and it helps us to create valuable partnerships in the space and to create more rugby content. I love you crew. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Let's check out these numbers and dive into it, baby. Let's go. Before we get into this video, I have to give a massive shout out to Wales Online for broadcasting the daily updates or the, the hourly updates on LRZ's numbers. And to all the, the Twitter users that are tracking his results and sharing the video, we're going to go through the sequence starting from early in the day and going to the latest update. And we'll see how his numbers turn out and we'll compare them against the stats of NFL Combine athletes that ran a few weeks ago and see how LRZ measures up. So it's going to be interesting to see how it all turns out crew thank you so much for being here and i hope he does incredibly well because i i'm like rooting for him i support him and i want to see him make a team and um you know showcase his talent for darn sure but we'll see how his numbers turn out the all the athletes showed up to the stadium early and let me find um so it's 15:31. so it's 3:31. they showed up and they said lewis reese is amit weighs in at 209 and that's a uh, pretty that's a pretty good size he's 6'3 uh 6 209 and let's see what the video is talking about. So 209 is a good size. It's pretty heavy for um, a wide receiver. So he's gonna he has to definitely play an outside wide receiver position. Slots are a little bit smaller. You think I'm thinking like um, a Nakua or Tyreek Hill athletes like that are that are real short, like and tight packed and real scatty. Um, so this. Lewis, with his with his size, he would make an impact as an as an out wide re outside receiver. And I've seen headlines of him where they're mentioning he might be a dual threat, like a Debo Samuel or athletes like that. I'm not really seeing that in his his skill set and his frame at this point. And the reason why I say that is because like a guy like Debo Debo Samuel, they've been playing the American football game for so long, and they understand the nuances and have had the opportunity to play running back and wide receiver throughout their entire career. And I would see Lewis being just a strictly strictly a wide receiver at this point, and maybe even a special teams player with his size, like kick return, um, and maybe more like kick return. I believe punt return would have to be a smaller framed individual that is uh there's a little little bit lighter than uh than him at this point but we'll we'll see how his numbers turn out and we'll continue to dive into it and so it looks like he did his broad jump first and it says lewis reese gets nine feet seven inches in a broad jump he didn't look happy with this one let's see what his broad jump looked like look at his he has he looks like he put on some great size right here He would have stick it. Way to stick it. Nine seven best. Nine seven. Yeah, he's not happy with that. But going over to the NFL Combine results, and we're specifically looking at the wide receiver position because that's what that's what uh, Lewis is going to be playing. And this is comparing him to the 2024 draft class that just performed, which was absolutely exceptional. The talent coming out of this year's wide receiver class is beyond compare. These are probably the most athletic, talented athletes that we've seen a long time coming into football. And it's going to be very, very difficult for him to, you know, come over into this game and measure against the athletes that we have here in, in our football system currently. Just, just simply because he's he's never played the game of football. So these men have a lot more time in the game, and they have a lot more athleticism as far as playing that position and understanding how to do it um, compared to Lewis, who's you know trying to learn and like essentially just drinking from the fire hose at this point. So I I just have to give um, Lewis just a massive shout out for for putting himself out there and and testing himself because that's what it's essentially all about. He's testing testing himself and doing something that's completely foreign to what he's used to doing. But let's take a look at, he just he just did the broad jump. We saw that his numbers was uh, a nine feet, seven inches. 
And if we take a look at the broad jump for the wide receiver class <laughs> and how it compares, it's this it this is the breakdown of the top 30 wide receivers from the class. We see that uh, Adani Mitchell from Texas <laughs> jumped 11 feet, four inches. That's a massive jump. That is a massive jump. And if we go down all the way to the bottom to the 30th, we have Jaquan Jackson from Tulane jumping a 9-10. And that's the top 30 receivers that we have in, in this class currently. So if we're comparing Lewis's nine feet, so oh, I just jumped over here, nine feet, seven inches compared to, you know, our top 30, we can see that he's he's well below the, the number one and just about three inches, well, not about, just three inches shorter than Jaquan Jackson. So his numbers are fair, but he would definitely fall in the lower tier of this category within broad jumping. And I understand that the standards don't necessarily measure to the type of athlete that you can be because these are just standard measures that assess a player's value when you go onto the draft board and teams want to pick you up and just giving metrics, you know, create, create some quantifiable evidence of like how good of an athlete you are. So I understand why he may excel on the field and not so much in the test results. This is just a huge qualifier for basically how much an athlete's going to get paid getting into the NFL, whether it be on a practice squad, even if they make a practice squad and accelerating them up through making the, the 53 man roster. And now we're testing the vertical jump. So the vertical jump, you're basically in a, in a standing position. They have the standard set where you see these bars right here. They're little, they're little plastic bars, and you basically measure based off of your height. So it's the standard is off of your height. It's a standard tracker. So it's uh, everything is comparable based on based on how tall you are. And so you basically jump from a standing position up, and you hit the beams and it measures how many feet that you can jump in the air, how many, excuse me, how many inches that you can jump in the air. Okay, so you you take a look, take a look at this position, crew. So he's, he has a good starting position. You're trying to, you're trying to generate as much force up top. You're trying to just basically tighten up as much as you can. Cause when you, when you get ready to load, you're going to bring your hands down and you're going to load into that, in that, to that jumping position. And so you're essentially bracing your core and everything and trying to generate as much power from the floor through the top of your head. So you can explode up and get as high as you can. And what I noticed here is if we go right here, see how he sort of, when he gets into the bottom of his jump, he sort of shortchanged his jump where he's not really getting the full potential of his energy out of the floor and, uh, and the explosion that he needs. And so it looks like that really, to me, hurt his numbers of uh, his verticality. Um, and I'll, I'll play it in fast motion so you can see what I'm talking about, how he sort of shortchanges the jump and is not able to gener generate enough force to get out of the hole. Our top 30 is Jalen Coker. 42, 42 and a half inches, 42 and a half inches is our top guy. And the bottom of it, a bottom of that is Jaquan Jackson with the 32 inch vertical jump. So you can see how far off he is compared to the athletes that we have in our, in our 2024 class. That's why I'm saying these athletes are absolutely explosive and incredible. Let me see if I can pull something from the wide receiver class of the combine. Oh, this is Rashad White, excuse me. Look at how explosive they are in the bottom of when they get there. And this is a 33. Ah! But I want to get to the top of it. See how they're generating a lot more power than what we saw from Lewis? Here's like, here's Rashad White. He jumps a 38. This is not the, the current class, but just to give you an example of how much power that I feel the LRZ left on the table. Take a look at uh, Arizona State's Rashad White when he gets into the bottom of his, his jump and his, how explosive he gets out of the hole. See how explosive he was with his arms? And he just jumped through the freaking ceiling right here. And that's what I'm talking about where it feel like LRZ left a lot on the table. And if I'm gonna, let's, let's refresh and take another look at that. Look at the explosion, right? And so you can imagine that's from an older draft class. You can imagine Jalen Coker this year jumped a 42 and a half. How much higher that he got than than we saw from Rashad there. So that's a that's a huge different in, difference in explosion, and that carries over to route running when they're coming out of breaks and things like that. So um, that's really 
that that number is going to hurt him a lot. And like they say in this one, the record is 46 inches set by Gerald Sensabaugh from back in the day. So um, he has some work to do there if he's going to do that again. And so the sort of the bread and butter of a wide receiver is the measure of their 40-yard dash or their 40-yard sprint. And what really dictates your time is how great you can get a start on your 40 time. From here, it says... Uh, these were unofficial times, right, currently in this thread. It says his first one, he you get two chances to run it. His first one, he ran a 4-5, which is, it's it's average. Um, but then um, I think we, he ran a second one. I saw earlier today, it was a 4-4-4, a four, 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 which is better. But the fastest time that we had this year, if we go over to the results, we go over to our 40 time, our fastest one, Ever. This is a, they, he actually broke a record, an NFL combine record, was from um, Xavier Worthy. He ran a 4.21, a 4.21 out of Texas. And this kid, uh, I can't even call him, this man is a freaking stud. His first year at Texas completely blew the doors off of uh, anybody's measure. Just an exceptional athlete and supremely talented he ran a 421 and our slowest guy ran a 463 so lrz comes into the middle of the pack here i would say he's around uh, i have it in my notes he's around like he ties for like the 14th or 15th place especially if he ran a 444 so he falls right here with uh, ryan florney and cornelius johnson which is really really good actually so that's a that's promising that he he ran that time and I saw on Twitter that they mentioned he well he mentioned that he was disappointed with his running time because he said that in practice he ran a four three and even a four two had he ran a four three flat or in a four two he would have been up here with these gentlemen and I really don't think he ran a four two or a four three it's just from my just depending on if he ran it under laser timing because I mean he would have to be flying he would have to be absolutely flying to run a 4-2 because a 4-2 is an it's it's an american record for us it's an nfl record so that one's gonna that's sort of a stretch i would say but who who am i to say like i he's he knows his times he was getting tested and he ran it but um he'd probably he'd be among the fastest uh, uh he'd be have the fastest times if he ran a 4-2 in the history of the nfl so it's all about the start and uh if he didn't get a good start that's what dictated his, his time which is which is he falls in the middle of the pack a top 14 for a 444 um on that one and if he ran a 45 he would um if you ran a 45 he would be at like the top 22 within that top 30 receivers so that's not that's not too bad of a time but it falls average with the the current class that we have and uh, things definitely change once you once you get there uh, on the field for sure and there's this this man ben coles is comparing him to dj debo samuel like we mentioned and christian mccaffrey from the 49ers and those two athletes are completely different size frame and build than uh than an lrz so i think that's it's a stretch. It's a stretch for him to make that comparison that uh, of a McCaffrey and um, a Debo Samuel because they're completely different athletes. Those guys are hybrid. Christian McCaffrey is a is a is a thoroughbred running back. Debo Samuel is a hybrid wide receiver slot running back. Those are very very hard comparisons. Where I feel like LRZ is not not that type of build. He's not that you know that frame or structure now we're looking at route running so let's check some of his route running because a part of the aside from the combine results that you're getting where you can run your you're doing your vertical your broad your three cone your shuttle your bench and your dash they want to see how you perform on the field in that position so there's positional drills that you're doing and a lot of that has to do with the wide receiver is your route running so they're going to put you through a, a lot of similar tests like where you have to catch within a box and they'll put cones out on, like on a sideline so it's catching in a certain situation on the field seeing if you can keep both feet in uh, to possess a ball and just your field awareness and now these ones like you're coming out of a break changing a change of direction catching and then accelerating from a catch and so this is what it looks like he's about to do right here so let's take a look at it so he had a good first step sort of sort of laggy because he stepped on his heel but we'll look at it so he stepped on his heel good break Nice way to sit low, good hands. But look at the power and look at his acceleration out of that. He looks very, very confident in a, in a wide receiver position. Let's take take a second look at it. First step is a little slow, but that was a good break right there. He has loose hips. 
and he has very good acceleration and power. So that's looking great on the field right there. It'd be interesting to see him uh, with coverage on him, but that that's a that's a very solid showing. It looks like he has very good footwork uh, from that shot right there. So I'm very I'm very pleased to see him doing well in that category. And are we going up? And that's pretty much it, Crew. So it looks like he. He's went through the gamut of his drills, and I'm sure there's some more stuff coming out about him. Um, it's saying his vert jump was 29. Uh, they're talking about the record set, the 40 time is a 444, and that's pretty much it, crew. I think he had a, a solid showing and falls into the category of like average with with his times. I want to see how he would do on the field, and you know, with the with the skill position, the skill position drills, and I'll, I'm sure more footage and like that is going to be upcoming. And as we get more, um, is that you know, shared a little bit more? But uh, man, overall, it's a very good showing, and my hats off to Lewis. I hope that he, I hope that he makes a, a practice squad and eventually makes a team. Good results, not the greatest results, especially in terms of the draft class that we have upcoming at the wide receiver positions. Like I showed you, crew, all of our top 30 receivers that performed this year's draft class were absolutely mind blowing. And it was just one of those absurd classes that, you know, everybody overperformed and uh, and i just think feel like the hardest part for lewis is that these receivers that we have coming out of this class they're already in the game so these guys are their first round draft picks they know the game they played it a lot longer they have the experience and know the ins and outs there's a lot of nuances within football with especially speaking from the wide receiver position it's downfield blocking route running um coming out of your break and some head fakes catching over your shoulder running with the helmet on your head there's so many different variables that separate uh, a good receiver from amazing receivers and this draft class that we have is absolutely exceptional not only are they fast they are aware they have incredible body control they have great physicality uh, good downfield blocking skill and they've just been playing the game a lot longer and they're more experienced and you know this by no means is to to undermine lewis and what he's doing out there i have so much love and respect for for lrz and i want i want to see him make a team i want to see him make a 53-man roster and i just think it's going to be very tough to do right now he has a great chance of making a practice squad there was uh, some you know some threads that i saw on twitter i'm not sure how valid they are and i haven't done the due diligence to see how real it is at this point but people were mentioning that there were three teams um you know vying for him or you know putting having interest in him and so we'll see how that all develops i think there's definitely going to be an interest in him because you look at his size you look at his frame you look at the speed and acceleration that he has he has all the intangibles of an incredible athlete now it's just getting him geared to the game of, of, of football right we can get the we can get him route running we can get him learning how to downfield block getting him acquainted with the nuances of playing a wide receiver but that's going to take time and the practice squad is where I see him heading first for a team. And I feel like he'll get put on a team like the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Miami Dolphins, somewhere along the East Coast to where um, that team has a system that is like a pass heavy system that can develop him because with his speed, he says if he if he really did run a 4-2 or 4-3 in test times, that he already has the skill trait coming out of coming out of a, of a off the line and running routes. He can separate. We saw him accelerate out of out of that uh, reception and come out and break. So he could do exceptionally well. So we're, we'll definitely have to see how he develops and grow. But we'll continue to track the progress of RLRZ. I have the utmost respect for him and wish him all the best because putting yourself out there, transitioning from rugby come into football that is not the easiest thing in the world to do and i commend anybody who's willing to put themselves out there take the risk on themselves take the chance and be willing to to lay it out all on the line so i have the biggest love and respect for for lewis reese and hope he does incredibly well and i hope all the players from ipp do incredibly well make a roster and just you know highlight and showcase their talent and achieve what they they set out here to achieve you know i love seeing people succeed in life and i root them on and i just hope that it uh works out in their favor for sure so we're gonna stay we're gonna stay locked in and uh update on these results crew and if you have anything that you want me to look at as far as the nfl combine and the rugby athletes that are involved in this let me know in the comments below and i'll keep track of it and i'll say i'll continue to make more update videos crew but i love you i appreciate you thank you for being here as always and um 
subscribe if you want to see more rugby content upcoming we're going to continuing to grow this channel in the rugby space and grow and develop and create just more new fresh content in the space crew i love you i appreciate you always stay laser focused on your dreams and your vision and remember that you're in control much love crew peace